Whitty, I asked Joe, you know, how quickly he wanted to get back out there after yesterday. He said he wished they all played a double header yeah. yesterday. So that was how bad he wanted to get back out. You talked about before the game, you know, being totally comfortable giving him the ball. Did today show you why? Got to re reinforce that. Yeah, I mean, Joe's. Uh, we were talking about it in the in my office earlier with with some of the staff and just what this guy's done, you know, for his career. You know, as far as just his mentality and how, how much work he puts in on the mental side and being able to handle tough moments and um, being able to succeed and bounce back from things. And um, he's got a great perspective. I mean, uh, wise beyond his years, um, especially from, you know, a couple of years ago when I first got a, a good opportunity to meet him and kind of be around him. Um, he's come a long way <laughs> in a short amount of time, and, and that's just you know, kudos to him. He's put in a ton of work on that area. So to, to, to be a closer in this league, it's tough. It's not easy. Um, it's, it rarely do you get that opportunity where it gets, you know, sometimes you have to wait around for four or five days and you know, have to, you're itching to get back in there. But to get thrown in, in a day game after a night game, you know, it's as, it's as quick of a turnover as you, turnaround as you can get. And, you know, I had zero thoughts of not putting him in there. <laughs> like, honestly, like it was the easiest call in the world to put him back out there. Not a ton of opportunities offensively, but you make the no, Adoli's made the most of the one that mattered, yeah. uh, and especially at that at that time. Are you just going to go through stretches like this, and you're going to have to scratch out enough offense to win games like this? Yeah, and I think it. Uh, you know, it obviously works for some teams with some really good pitching, and we know that our pitching is going to keep us in games. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I would like us to get better offensively. You know, just put a little bit more pressure at times, but um, that's not always going to happen. You know, that's not always going to happen. And you know, Marco's a, a crafty guy. We face him a lot. He changes his, you know, I guess uh, approach to us at times. He goes hitter by hitter, and um, he executes. He's tough. He makes it tough on us. So um, Adoles, when we needed him, came through. And at the end of the day, we're shaking hands, and it's a it's a big win for us because you know the bullpen came in and shut the door, you know, four scoreless to end it, and you know auto battled, you know, wasn't that efficient and you know really good at executing, but at the same time, like you know five walks and a hit by pitch, and to give up only two there, um, and that didn't even come from a walk or a hit by pitch. The first four innings were he had a no hitter, you know, and I'm scratching my head going, okay, he, he can't keep doing this, but at the same time with guys on base he was executing getting out of the innings and um he's got to obviously learn from that and, and do better at, at executing but like you said you're not always going to be perfect out there the report on dennis santano was that you guys don't expect it to be serious um yeah i think he's okay just a bruise yeah. same thing as perez um similar i mean obviously i hit him i think in the ankle so it was a different spot but yeah i mean i thought he needed a wheelchair to get off the field <laughs> joking around um and i kind of joked with him after but uh you know he wasn't going back out anyways he was only going to go one inning um but yeah hopefully he'll with the day game tomorrow it might be a little sore um especially on the ankle bones not an easy spot to get hit but i, I expect him to, to be fine either tomorrow or the next day hey and just one last thing um it's weird because it's following up on something we asked you pregame, but how would you describe the state of your th of third base for the Texas Rangers at this point? State of third base? Um, well, I think, you know, with Duran here, he'll get some good looks at it. So, I mean, it's, it's a position that we have a lot of guys down. Um, you know, a lot of our guys that were in line to, to be the, maybe the everyday guy have, you know, gotten hurt <laughs> and they're not available. So I think right now with Duran, um, like I said, I don't know how long he's going to be here, but um, he'll get a look. Uh, yeah, that's about all I can say. With, with Adolis, even when it's not like a late game situation where he does always find a way to break through, it still seems like games when you need him to, he, he does. Like even the home run comes in the fourth, but that ends up being the difference today too. Like what is... We've asked this before, but what is he doing? What is his mentality in these situations? He just has a knack for being the guy. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to best way to describe it. And a lot of that comes late in games. And um, I think he's just he's he has zero fear in those moments. And he almost there's an expectation in his mind and a belief in his mind to do the job. Um, and that's 
that's a hard thing in this league. It's a hard thing in this league to, you know, when you're expected and when you feel like you're expected to come through in big spots. Um, it does help when you come through in spots because it gives you more belief and more confidence the, the more times you do it. But at this point, I think he's just kind of set in his mind, like, I will get it done. Um, and I love being, I love standing in that batter's box with the game on the line to help my team win. Um, but yeah, he's, he's done it time and time again, obviously for the last year and a half. And what was Glenn's issue today? Just um, with the just, command control? Yeah, just, you know, trying to be too fine. Um, they didn't really hit a ball hard. I mean, no, in the first, you know, Crawford lined into the double play, but honestly, outside of that, they didn't hit a ball hard until Raleigh got the base hit. So the biggest thing for me with Glenn is um, not shying away from contact, you know, attacking the strike zone, making sure these guys um, earn their way on. Because uh, it's flirting with disaster if you keep walking guys and, and giving them free bases. Um, that's what that team thrives off of, usually. Uh, so we dodged some bullets today. He did. But he's got to be better at just attacking the strike zone and executing.